Yeah, man, I've been having memory issues. My uh, uh, my phones are going senile. Yeah, that's because uh, I'll be fucking make, taking too many pictures and making too many freaking videos. Because there's so much stuff going on, it's hard to keep up with it all at once. I'm like missing stuff, stuff's getting erased. Stuff, you know, there's just constant gremlins and hindering spirits and attacks. But right now, uh, the word I got about six months ago was patience, man. And, and everything that I've dealt with since has all been issues of patience. And how in your patience possess ye your soul. And my patience has been pushed to the very point where... Yeah, man, it, it, it's you have the uh, smash, throw down the fucking commandments moment, kind of. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like, yeah, but that's only in that moment did, did, do you feel such a way. And then afterwards, you, you're, uh, after it's all over, you, you'd be like, man, uh, if I'd have just had a little more patience, could have avoided that. But anyway, that video where this dude, he's like, Oh, I'm pouring you out a blessing more than you're able to contain. I mean, I understand what that means now, too, man. It's like this, okay? Some blessings are so big, they're not meant to be contained. Have you ever had, like, like, look, uh, an utter joy? It's like, I, I have an utter fucking joy to discuss the scriptures, to discuss them. Uh, I've read them. I know you've probably read them, too. We both read them. You know what I'm saying? We both listen to them. But I love to discuss them and see them come to fruition and, and be able to spot that out in life. And that's what it means to kind of have a, a blessing more than you're able to contain. It's like having, it's like the good news you want to tell everyone. You know what I'm saying? You can't wait to find a person who you can discuss this with because only certain people study it. So you can't just discuss it with anyone because not everyone's going to see it for what it is. And when you find one that does, it's such a beautiful thing where two or more are gathered. Uh, one can set a thousand to flight, two to ten thousand. That's that's the power of prayer and uh, mutual touching and agreeing belief between believers, between the brethren, between the body of Christ. You know what I'm saying? It's like the the finger touches the toe, boom, and then there's a uh, something goes down. You know, there's a there's a move in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the discernment of spirits. You try the spirit, see that be of God or not. You know, I mean, and just because someone's got necessarily bad fruit here and there, that doesn't necessarily mean they're evil. It just means they got problems and issues that they need help with. So, you know what I'm saying? There is kind of, people get this haughty mindset where they're, they're better than everyone and they're looking down on them and they're above them. When it was like you were them and you could have been them and you probably got people close to you that are that. And, and yet you're supposed to be this badass uh, spiritual guide guy and everyone's got all these freaking issues and no one's really addressing the spirits that are, are oppressing them you know what I'm saying I might sound crazy because I'm always talking about spirits gremlins freaking Jezebel spirits Leviathans and, and Pythons and Apollyons and uh, nature spirits and, and, and all uh, Wiley Coyote I know I, I know it all sounds sounds insane the, de the demon dossier uh what the heck? Cat's knocking something down. Something going down. Uh, see, there goes the gremlins. As I, as I speak, oh, there goes the cat running away. The gremlins, they just love to, uh, just. It just causes it. It, it frustrates you. It'll make you want to throw down the commandments like Moses did. That's what their job is: is to be so freaking frustrated. That's what the thorn in the side is: is people messengers it's like people are like like i said a spirit box and sometimes demons jump right into people and there you're speaking with a freaking demon i've seen people's voices change like i can see them moving in between like different age ages where they, they turn into a little baby or they turn into the fucking the kid that's throwing a fit uh or the kid that's being sneaky or you know you know what i'm saying it's like and a lot of times it is like that uh you can see them you see the different masks that uh, the demons hide behind inside of the people. You know, sometimes people are in agreement with these things. They've chose to 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 live in manipulation. They've chosen to whatever. 
And those are really hard. Sometimes they've been indoctrinated through saying yes so many times and giving themselves over to the thing, to the the mask, the possession. That you know that uh, until they acknowledge it, and it's just like look, it's it's been ingrained in them to the point where there's no di- differentiation between the person and the spirit now, and it's it's just like it's, it's made a permanent habitation inside of a person. And I see this in people. I see how random spirits come through and will like sweep through like a wind, and everyone will have a uh, moment, and then it'll go, it'll calm and relent again. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, I can sense a vamp coming. Like uh, people who are narcissistic abusers, they have this energy harvesting ritual where they they set up a situation to get in a big old fight so that they can blame you and take out everything they're feeling on everyone else that they can attack on you. It's like that's why they're so attention seeking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some of them. So that's one symptom is the attention seeker. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's like a child who's got a, you know, uh, that seeks bad attention to get attention. It's just, but you see it, and adults do it. You know what I'm saying? And it, this might, may not sound like a blessing to you to be able to know these things. Like, likewise, like the back of my hand, I have to know these things now and see them and confront them uh, on a constant basis. And it's, and they, it, it's, it's a really weird it's a weird the, 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 in the spirit the landscape is very much different than it is in actual reality sometimes you can get a glimpse of it through reality but look they're like in the spirit things are different than they are it's, they're, it's not a mirror image it's like a, it's like a different dimension you know what I'm saying and it's all it's, it's a strange place it's hard to explain, it, uh, but people, I'm, I'm sure there's many out there who would understand, or they don't realize that they already know what I'm talking about, but for some reason it just doesn't register, I'm not speaking it in a way that it computes to you that it might be the same thing, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'm not I'm not talking about like astral projection and stuff like that, that's, uh, those are occult practices that, uh, that when you're gone out your body, the demons can come in, you know, and the demons are assisting you in your flight. You know what I'm saying? When we have a, a, an episode in the spirit, it's God's spirits that are flying us around, whether if we can see them or we can't. I mean, but that's just the way these things work. Uh, you give them permission, the bad ones, to do the, to mimic the same being in the spirit like listen being in spirit somewhere else like look though I'm not like I think Paul says it though I'm not present with you but in the spirit I am present with you and that's the same way I feel with a lot of believers man it's like uh, we're all present together somehow in in that spirit dimension and that's why it's so strange because we're so far away in the world but in the spirit we're all like in the same place and uh and likewise, just like Abraham's bosom in hell, hell's down there and all that, they're, they're crab in a bucket, they're trying to stand on each other's shoulders to get up out of that place and pull someone down into it, you know what I'm saying? And then we're also all standing up there being protected in this other spiritual dimension, but there's space in between, man, that is, you know, while we're still yet alive, man, it's like you don't get to see a exactly what's going on all the time it's kind of it's very ethereal but then again some of it's just really it's really super common sense too it's just you know uh but to recognize it's one thing but to to delve deeper into it is another you know what i'm saying uh and try learning how to exercise the authority to be a spiritual you're kind of uh it's kind of like uh you know when you see something loose that ain't supposed to be loose, you're supposed to recognize.